what actually is bolted down to the previous segment. thing there, it's a load cell, that's what will be, grab each one of those tendons, pull on it like you wouldn't believe, and it, What's they, that, uh, Sebastian? the load cell oh, there, the, um, guy, the yeah, green the hanging cell. down yeah, deal, it's right. a hydraulic dealy bob. <laughs> that's a technical thing, right? Yeah, but it's a, it's an impressive an impressive uh, piece of equipment. And so what's the height here again above the... It's about 260 basically. 260 feet. Yeah. And, and basically all, those, all that formwork, it's the same formwork every time. We just move it forward and reuse it. So like a, a normal bridge, like the north bridge, we place all the forms at once and you pour it all at once. So it's a lot more formwork. This, this the, the inside and outside for each stem wall, uh, for the bottom, for the, for the soffit, for everything. It's the same stuff, we just move it forward. So we basically just keep shoving everything forward. You just shove the forms forward, retie your steel, place conduit for all the tendons. And you can see how there's only a couple tendons left. There's, see those four inch mm -hmm. C CSPs? Because there's only a couple more segments to go and then there'll be a closure pour right here. Yeah. And so how long does it take for each segment, basically? Well, we get we get two a week, essentially. Two per week. It takes about five hours to pour a segment, roughly, when you're actually pouring the concrete. But setting the steel and all that is what? Yeah, setting the steel. Any guess on what calculated movement would actually occur? In, you know, well, like, I can you know. tell you one thing: when uh, you know the segments here are only ten feet long, the last one here, uh, we pour it's balanced county, right? So we are we poured this one, and the other one, this thing moved about uh, ten inches. So just from pouring this last, this box is a little shallow. So long, oh, you know, it doesn't take much force when you push down. It moved because we every every time after a core segment, we resurvey the whole bridge, not just what we pour. And that's one of the biggest engineering issues on this job. These bridges have to match up when they're done. So <laughs> the contractor has a special engineer that they hire.
trying to think of this. again as it already is so it's a really tall wall this has the wiggler this is really the same technology as that other wall it's still a, a, a soldier pile tie back wall but uh, this wiggler here which is this concrete form and then you can see it has the same tie back system as the other wall but we get more of those down below we actually have three rows of those so this is a really tall wall this wall actually gets backfilled after we build it so all the material that we're excavating to get access to it, it's got to go back. So that's really the timing issue that I'm talking about. Right now, all that dirt right there is kind of in our way. Here you can see, I mean, you can see that this is kind of, this false work was difficult. Look how tall it is. To continue with that false work, I'll just give you an idea of what it would take. To build is just a regular way. Yeah, this is, that's what we say, false work. That's what we say when we talk about false work. And that all comes out at the end, doesn't it? Yep. You see on the side, yeah. guys, where you can see it's ripped out. And all this is temporary.